Welcome back, Nollywood fans. It's time for episode 3 of the hilarious and completely backward journey of Igbo marriage and dowry. I'm still your host, Jeanette Stobilo Bayamene. In the last episode, Adeze fought back against Chinedu's family's outrageous dowry demands, proving she was clever and resourceful. But today, she faces a bigger challenge, winning their hearts. And just when things seem under control, a secret is about to shake everything up. Are you ready? Let's dive in. A month passed and Adeze stood in front of Chinedu's family once again. She had worked tirelessly to meet their demands. She found a good deal on a car, sourced five white goats, not quite 15 but close enough, and had even used her influencer network to boost her Instagram followers to an impressive 100,000. Not the 5 million they'd asked for, but still a huge achievement. As for the dowry money, Adesi had managed to gather a significant amount through her business, investments, and a few loans. She, she was ready to pay half of the 15 million naira. It had been a long, exhausting process, but Adesi had done it. She'd met the demands halfway, as promised. But as she stood in front of Chinedu's mother, father, uncles, and aunts once again, the air in the room felt heavier than before. Chinezu's mother, seated at the end of the room, asked the same sharp gaze she'd worn the first time. Chinezu stood beside her, quiet, his face unreadable. I have done my best to meet your demands, Adeze said, her voice steady, despite the tension. I've brought the goods, I've increased my followers, and I have half of the dowry money ready. I hope this shows you how serious I am about Chinedu and this family. The room was silent. The uncles and aunts exchanged looks, but it was Chinedu's mother who finally spoke. Yes, you've done well. Adeze, she said slowly, I was drawn out. But this is only the beginning. You still haven't met all the demands. And what about the house, the brand new SUV? These things are not optional. Adeze's heart sank. She had expected some resistance, but not this. She worked so hard, and yet it felt like the goalposts were shifting. Chinedu's father spoke up, his tone more measured. You've shown you are capable. Adeze, but the capability isn't enough. We need someone who can fulfill all the responsibilities that come with being part of this family. Adeze opened her mouth to respond, but before she could, Chinedu's mother added, and time is running out. If you can't meet the rest of these demands soon, we will have to reconsider whether you are truly the right match for our son. Adesi's chest tightened. The pressure was mounting. And she wasn't sure how much more she could handle. Later that evening, Adesi sat on the veranda of her home. Her mind racing, the weight of Chinedu's family expectations was overwhelming. She had thought that by proving herself capable, they would accept her, but it seems like no matter what she did, it was never enough. As she sat in the quiet, her best friend, Chioma, arrived, her face full of concern. Adesi, I heard what happened. Are you okay? Adesi sighed, grateful for Chioma's presence. I don't know, Chioma. I've done everything I can, and still, it's not enough. I'm starting to wonder if I will, be, I will ever be good enough for Chinedu's family. Chioma sat beside her, placing a hand on her shoulder. You are more than good enough. This isn't about you. It's about your impossible standards. No one could me meet those demands. A daisy frowned, feeling a knot of frustration twist inside her. I don't understand why they are making this so difficult. I love Chinedu and I've done everything they've asked. What more do they want? There was a long pause. Chama hesitated, biting her lip as if she had something to say but was unsure whether she should. Chama, what is it? You're acting strange. There's something I've been meaning to tell you, but I wasn't sure how and I didn't want to hurt you. What is it? Just tell me, Adeje said. Chama took a deep breath, her eyes downcast. Adeje, there's something you don't know about Chinedu. He, he's been keeping a secret from you. Adeze's stomach tightened. What do you mean? Chama said. Chinedu is in love with someone else. Adeze's heart skipped a bit. What? 
Woohoo! Trauma is detected and met Adese's eyes. Guilt written all over her face. With me, the words hit Adese like a punch to the chest. Her mouth fell open in shock, and for a moment, she couldn't speak. You, my best friend, Adese said. Trauma's eyes filled with tears. I didn't know at first. He never said anything directly to me, but over time, it became clear. He's been eating at it, telling me things, and recently he confessed. He said he's been, been in love with me for a long time, even before he started dating you. Adeze stood up, her mind reeling. She couldn't believe what she was hearing. Why didn't you tell me? You should, you should have told me the moment you found out, Adeze said. I was scared of Daisy. I didn't want to ruin our friendship or hurt you. I thought maybe it changed his mind that he'd realized he loves you. But he didn't, Chioma said. Tears welled up in Daisy's eyes. A mixture of betrayal, anger, and heartbreak flooding her chest. So all this time, all this time, I've been fighting for him, for his family's approval. And he's been secretly in love with you, Chioma nodded. Wiping away her tears. I'm so sorry, Adese. I didn't want it to be this way. Adese shook her head, trying to make sense of it all. She felt like the ground had been pulled out from under her. No wonder his family keeps raising the bar. They don't want me because they know Chinedu doesn't want me, Adese said. Well, well, well. Just when Adese thought she had it all under control, the truth about Chinedu comes crashing down like a Nollywood plot twist. What will she do now that she knows about his secret feelings for Chioma? Will she continue the fight or is this the end of the road for her and Chinedu? Don't miss the next episode of the hilarious and completely backward journey of Ibo Marriage and Dari. Things are about to get even more complicated. Mm -hmm.